And at this point, I just feel sorry for you if you're not keeping up with X-Men 97 because this shit is fire. All I gotta say is Gambit is him. He was standing on business. Remember it. This is your spoiler warning. I'm gonna be recapping the entire episode. So if you're not trying to be spoiled, make sure you drop a like, follow, come back later. Basically, they want Magneto to be the ruler of Genosha. And with sleeves like that, pff, I see why. He says he'll do it on one condition. If Rogue will be his queen, which she's like, what the f Back with Cyclops and Jean, it looks like they're about to rekindle. But it turns out Scott's been mentally cheating on Jean with Jean. That's kinda, kinda crazy. I'm not But then Jean almost faints. That's something's up with her. Rogue and Gambit have a heart to heart about Magneto's plans. And she reveals they've actually been together before. Pay me like one of your mutant girls making <laughs> Titanic ass scene. This shit right here almost got me though when she said, your heart beats for me, but I can't feel it. God, my dog hit her with the some things are deeper than skin. That's called motherfucking ball. Then Rogue and Magneto touch hands right in front of Gambit at the ball. This shit is crazy. This is some, can you feel the love tonight ass scene? And then Madeline Pryor starts tripping too, just like Jean. It's Magneto with the copyright, some things are deeper than skin. And then Cable shows up to try to warn Madeline Pryor something's about to happen. And then she gets to look at his brown eyes realizing it's her son. It was so sad when he said, I'm sorry, mom, because I'm pretty sure she's fucking dead after this explosion. 